Make sure you subscribe today to get all the latest Fever 20 news, updates, and career mode content. So in the latest Fever 20 squad update that came out a few days ago, they added in Tommy Doyle, who is a Manchester City young player, and he got an 85 potential in the game. So I thought, why not do a growth test to see how he goes? He starts at a 62. I'll give him maybe 10 seasons and we'll see how he grows over the course of career mode. Today's video is sponsored by OneFootball. OneFootball is the best app to get all the latest football news and live updates. It's also a good place to check scores, stats and league tables for competitions all over the world. I've been using OneFootball myself for many years and I do enjoy the app, so make sure you download it for free using my link in the description. Now if this video does well, I plan to do it maybe once a week where we take a look at the latest squad update, see if there's any high potential players and maybe do some growth tests with the young players. So if you do like this video, please show some support so I know to continue it. So this is the start of Season 1. Before we do any testing, these are his current stats. So Tommy Doyle at the moment, 62 overall, 17 years old. Position is a centre midfielder, and he's got medium attacking, medium defensive work rate. So his pace is a 60, shooting is 47, passing 62, dribbling 62, 51 defending, 61 physical. As you can see, a lot of yellow stats there. And uh, one green stat, 79 for the balance. The rest of it needs a bit of growth. And with these tests, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the training system. I think it's a little bit overpowered. If I use the training system, they'll grow to 99. And I don't know if that's going to be a fair test. So I probably will avoid it for this one. But as you can see, he doesn't need a lot of work. 41 for the finishing, 41 for the free kick accuracy. Yeah, it's going to be cool to see how his stats grow over time. So we're at the end of Season 1. Let's take a look at his stats. Let's see if he's grown. And uh, we're going to go to the attributes now. Plus 5 growth in overall. 62 up to 67 in one season. Not too bad. He's 18 years old now. And as you can see, some of the other stats have grown. Balance, acceleration, reactions, all going up, which is good. Most of the stats did go up. And that's what you expect from an 85 potential player. And let's take a look at his value now. It's gone up by 133% from, I think it was 200k or something, or 600k. It's gone up to 1.4 million now. Unfortunately, when I was recording this, I actually missed out on the stats. I forgot to record that. And then what happened was I went to Season 2, and then I lost the, the backup. I didn't save it before I went to Season 2. So I did lose those stats, but I will make up for it in the upcoming seasons. I will make sure to show you guys. So we have reached the end of Season 2 in our experiment. Let's see where our guy is in the squad hub. He's played 53 games, and he scored 2 goals in 53 games. 3 assists as well. Hasn't had the best stats, to be honest. But in the Premier League, he scored those two goals, finished with a 7.3 match rating, which is not too bad. He is 19 years old now, but let's take a look at the attributes, see if he's grown. And he has gone up by three overall points from 67 up to 70 now. And uh, yeah, as you can see, all the other stats have been going up for him. And this will increase, you know, as he gets older as well. So no surprises so far. In the financials, he's gone up by 164%. 3.7 million now is his value. So we have reached the end of Season 3. Unfortunately, during this season, he was out for four months with an injury, so it did impact his growth. But it looks like he still did grow pretty well. He went up by three, so he's now a 73 overall. And he actually scored a few more goals this season. So in the Premier League, he scored five goals in 24 games, three assists. And in total appearances, he got 39 appearances, six goals, four assists, with an average of 7.5, which is not too bad at all. Champions League, he played nine games, one goal, one assist. I think we did win the Champions League. FA Community Shield, I, I can't remember if we won that or lost that. But yeah, it, it looks like he's growing a bit, you know. That four months injury probably impacted it a little bit, but not that much. So at 20 years old, he's still got the two-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. I'm not sure if that's going to go up. I don't know if those go up, but... A few stats have gone up this season as well. Acceleration, jumping, reaction, sprint speed, stamina, attacking position, composure, interceptions. And then technical stuff is all going up besides the free kick accuracy. His finishing is up to 71 now. So it went up by 9 points, which is good. But he did score more goals, so I did notice that. Uh, penalty is up as well. And that's basically it for Season 3. His financials did go up by 129%. He's now valued at 8.5 million. So we are at the end of Season 4 now. Our guy is 21 years old, and he's actually gone up by 4 overall points. He is now 77 overall, and he played 57 games this season, 9 goals, 2 assists, and he finished with an average rating of 7.0. He was injured for a couple of weeks, but nothing too dramatic, and uh, let's take a look at those attributes. It looks like they have grown a little bit in certain areas. The balance has gone way up, and in the technical stuff, all of it has increased as well, which looks very, very good, and in the financials, this guy goes up again, 123% to 19 million now. So he's starting to become more and more expensive. 
So it is the end of season five and we've got some good growth again. Plus four growth, we're up to 81 overall. Remember that his potential is 85. So I don't know, maybe one or two seasons time he's going to go past that. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there. Uh, he's still a rotation player. I'm trying to get him to crucial so I don't have to sim every game individually. I can just do calendar sims. But he is injured. He's pretty injury prone, to be honest. He's getting injured every season. And uh, yeah, these are his stats. So 54 appearances all season, six goals to assist. Average rating of 7.2. In the Premier League, he scored four goals in 31 games. Champions League, he scored no goals, but he played all 10 games. And uh, yeah, that, that's all right. Pretty solid stuff. In terms of the attributes, it's all going up. So still going up there in terms of the technicals, the physicals, all that kind of stuff, as you can see. And uh, now his financial has also gone up by 81%. He's now worth 34.5 million. At the end of season six, there wasn't much growth within the season. He only went up by one overall point. We've now reached 82. And he did have a good season though. 33 appearances. He was injured for a bit of the season. 14 goals in 33, which is not too bad. Basically a goal every second game. Three assists and an average of 7.30. So not too bad, but he keeps getting injured. A little bit injury prone, you know, so he's not playing as many games. That's why his growth hasn't been the best. But his attributes are still going up, as you can see. The physicals and the mentals are going up, as well as the technicals. A few didn't go up, but the main ones did go up, which is not too bad. Overall, I am happy with the progress, but the injuries don't help. In terms of his value, after Season 6, he's now worth $43 million. So we're at the end of Season 7, and it is looking good. I'm going to try and find him, but I did see that his overall has now gone to 87. A plus 5 growth in the 7th season. Looks like dynamic potential is kicking in. His past... He's given potential of 85, so this is really good. Overall, he played 67 games this season, 35 goals. Absolutely killed it in the Premier League, 23 goals. And he got 11 assists in all competitions as well, 7.7 .7 match rating on average. But yeah, the stats are going way up, man. Look at those uh, goals and assists and all that kind of stuff. So very, very good result this season. And in the attributes section, his stats have all gone up in the physicals and the mentals. Maybe one or two didn't. The technicals are all going up besides the standing tackle. Most of them, or some of them, have hit 99 as well. So he's got 99 finishing at the moment. That is crazy, 99 finishing. And I remember he started with like a very weak finishing stat. But yeah, look at the growth on him now. It'll be interesting to see how he goes in the future. And at 24 years old, his value has now gone up to 79.5 million. So we are at the end of Season 8, and uh, we have a two-point growth for Tommy Doyle. He has reached an 89 overall now, so he's getting very close to that 90. And he might even get to 99, I'm not sure. But this season, he played 59 games, 27 goals, 8 assists, 7.5 match rating. In the Premier League, he scored 16 goals. So, his attributes have been growing as well. As you can see, they're starting to turn green, a lot of them. And even the technical stuff is fantastic now. 95 ball control, 81 crossing, 99 dribbling, shot power 84, long shots 84, long pass 97, finishing 99. Unbelievable. So we have reached the end of Season 9. Let's take a look at how Tommy Doyle has performed now. And he's gone up again by two overall points. He's reached a 91. 26 years old, 91 now. His value has skyrocketed. 114 million is his current value now. So that is fantastic as well. Pretty happy at the club still. And this season, he played 70 matches, which is a lot of games. But 46 goals in 70 matches is not too bad. 14 assists. In the Premier League, he scored 21 goals. In the Champions League, 9 goals. So he's absolutely killing it. In the FA Cup, he scored 12 goals in 6 matches. Fantastic. Let's take a look at the attributes. His acceleration has gone up, but it's still very, very low. It's still in the yellows. Balance has gone all the way up to 98 now. Sprint speed, 77. Vision, 82. And then uh, the technical stuff is fantastic, man. Ball control is a 99. Long shots, 86. Long pass, 99. And that's pretty much it for him in Season 9. At the end of Season 10, he reached a 92 overall. He grew by one point in the season. He played 65 games, 34 goals. It looks like the growth is starting to slow down a little bit, but he has passed his given potential from EA. So you can't really complain there when he's got given an 85 potential and reaches a 92. He's still 27 years old, but I'm not sure if he's going to grow as fast as he did when he was a bit younger. But still fantastic season stats. You know, another Champions League under the, under the belt, another Premier League. They're winning it all, this team. Um, I have made Man City pretty special in this career mode, but yeah, the stats keep going up. You know, some of the technicals and physicals have started to go up, but you can see the growth is slowing down a little bit once we reach the 10th season. So we have reached the end of season 11, and Tommy Doyle is 28 years old now. He has reached a 93 overall. He went up actually by one, 
it doesn't show you on the graph. I'm not sure why. I think there's like a bug there. But as you can see, his stats are still going up in terms of the mental stuff. Also, the technical, there's only three or four now going up. The rest of them have settled in. So it looks like the growth is slowing down more and more now. But you've got to remember, another two years, he's 30, which means he's going to start declining. So, yeah, he has reached 93. His uh, value has actually gone down by 3% now. So $126 million. So, yeah, you can see the value is starting to drop now. Things are kicking in. You know, the pension age is kicking in in career mode. And, uh, yeah, he still had some great stats. I mean, 68 games, 45 goals, 14 assists. 45 goals as a midfielder. That is fantastic stuff. 27 in the Premier League. This guy is scoring more than half the strikers in the league. So it looks like after 12 long seasons, Tommy Doyle runs out of steam and doesn't grow. So we've reached the end of season 12, as you probably know by now. He is 29 years old, so, you know, he's reaching the pension at age. And, uh, yeah, he still had a great season. 63 appearances, 44 goals, 23 assists. So he's still going strong with that 93 overall. He just hasn't grown from last season, so he stays at the same overall. If you take a look at the attributes, it's all the same as well. Um, pretty much the same stats. You can see that there's no improvement there. And then the financials, he's gone down 3% to 123 million. So yeah, there's been no growth. With that being said, we will end it here because it looks like he is not growing. So it took him 12 seasons to finally run out of steam, but EA gave him an 85. He reached a 93 with no training, just playing regularly through the sim game option. So pretty impressive and he's a great player. If you need something else to watch, make sure you hit the card in the middle. It'll take you to another FIFA 20 video of mine. I'll see you next time.